during um, March, I was seriously sick, and then I went to the hospital. It's like medical treatment in Sierra Leone is very poor, it's slow. So they said my kidney is really affecting me. If I don't do everything that can make this problem clear, I'll die. I became worried, and the school itself became worried. Volunteers in this country, UK, they went to the school. They saw my condition and then they come back in the UK. They said they need to raise money for me to come to the UK to get proper treatment. I fly on October to the UK. I went to Adam Brooks Hospital for the treatment. So it's like one medical facility is advanced here as well, while Sierra Leone medical facility is not advanced. So this is how I find myself in the UK. I became like, say, I'm not a human being as well because you live in the bush. It's like sleep in the bush without shelter. It's like it affects me greatly. One, my education progress is go down because of war. Should have not been now by now. Maybe if I said to be in, in the university, should have finished university or the ending of university now. But this war in Sierra Leone to be a child soldier affects me greatly by reducing the level of education destroying the country, killing people. So it's really affecting me. I got into this corruption, that's one, because you see we in Sierra Leone. The government itself corrupts, like saying something to the country, hmm? and then they change. Like the soldier, the air force soldier fights in Sierra Leone because they are less given shelter, one, their salaries are not paid, they are not living in good condition, so they decide to fight. For the rebels, diamonds cause this war. People fight for diamonds. Want to get this diamond, this one to get this, this one to get this. They set cool, brought up war in the country, which brought us war. In Sierra Leone in particular, if we talk about the women's, not human rights, the women's, they do not allow women to go to school. According to the thoughts of our people in Sierra Leone, the old buildings, they said women are just to work in the house. They are not meant to educate. Only men can go to school. So it's now that they brought these ideas to change the method of having women to stay in the house, do domestic work. So now they're trying to take them from the house to school for women to get education. If we have women in the county that have education, men have education, they can exchange idea, they build up the country. Um, education system in the UK is really great because you guys are exposed to most of this technology. You know how to operate these computers, you know how to get good materials. You have this project, you go through these computers, you communicate with other countries in Africa, you get these ideas. So the system is different. We in our country, we have to use chalkboard, the teacher stand and write. But here, they use the projector with the computer to teach. Whilst in Sierra Leone, no school can do that. Only they have pen, paper, chalkboard, stand on the board and write. My impression to the UK is really great because I never seen all this technology, these advanced things in my country. I never see them. So my first impression is that arrived to the airport and then to enter into the airport the first thing that i saw is like the escalators which is really surprising to me i never seen an escalator we have a step that you can climb to go up but escalator like standing in the escalator taking you from down to up is really different and um, then i watched a film i went to the cinema watch this 3d video you have 3d uh seats watching the film like seeing the object closer to you it's like coming to you closer it's really great and of course all these things i never seen them in Sierra Leone so it's a big difference um working doing ICT which is information computation and technology so that if I get this idea I'll take the idea back to Sierra Leone implement it we can benefit from this technology to learning ICT. I'm using my experience that I have got from England to help my friends, my brothers, my sister, everyone in Sierra Leone, which is not affordable to get this. So I can use my idea to help them.